never give in. Never, never, never. Hi, this is Jason Gray. I am the uh, CART researcher for the Glamorganshire area here in Wales. Um, this is the uh, site of the Margham uh, patrol bunker, um, which uh, myself and uh, a couple of other guys, uh, all relatives of the Groom family, discovered uh, in April, or rediscovered I should say, here uh, in, in April 2013. Uh, we've come back to measure it all up today and get some further data on it. <coughs> um, uh, quite a strong family connection with this. My grandfather was the, uh, the patrol leader and the sergeant of this particular patrol and he had two of his brothers, three at one time, um, serving in the, in the patrol with him and um, Dylan Thomas who uh, I interviewed yesterday and hopefully uh, uh, you'll be able to see some of his uh, videos and his recollections as well. So um, what you're looking at here is the, uh, the escape exit. Uh, there were two exit entrances and exits. One uh, I'll show you uh, in a few minutes, but this was the emergency way out. Um, as you can see, it's all collapsed to about this height on the outside. Um, uh, there's kind of corrugated uh, sheeting, which is all rotted and uh, 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 rusted away. And then all the earth that was on top of that has collapsed into this old trench. Uh, this is the main entrance, the main hatch, a um, uh, shaft, which would have had a ladder in it. And a mechanism, um, a very square um, hatchway leading to the surface. Um, there's probably a, a, a foot to two feet of earth over the top of this structure. Um, so uh, the hatch would have uh, had um, would have been a tray with uh, with um, soil and uh, debris in it to make it disguise it with the uh, the rest of the, the ground around it, so it wasn't uh, wasn't visible. Uh, so this was the main, the, the main hatch that the uh, auxiliaries would have used to enter and exit, um, and never, never the, the uh, escape, the escape hatch. Obviously, all the detritus, the uh, the wood is uh, all rotted through. So somewhere in the bottom of all that, we think the mechanism for the uh, for the hatchway still exists. Don't really want to disturb it because it's going to make it a little obvious that uh, you know people have been digging through, etc. Um, and we're anxious to preserve the uh, uh, the site. So uh, I'm not going to disturb it uh, too much. Some kind of um, what looks like some kind of cooking uh, utensil, concrete filled, metal um, with the, the front cut away. Looks like you uh, made a brew on that. We found a small bottle, a glass bottle, <coughs> and um, just uh, here looks like the foot of one of the bunk beds or um, or. Uh, shelf storing you you need something like that um, and there's some wood timbers probably from a bunk or, um, or, or storage as well so um, apart from that it's pretty empty um, not much evidence of, uh, of people having been down here which is good and now the uh, the escape exit I think they had more storage back here. I think they had more storage back here. Because there's four props, two either side. Uh, well, actually three. There's two, two that side, one this side. Channeled, grooved into the into the uh, the dry stone wall. Yeah.